Sarah. Ahoy, mateys. It's love coach Natalina and the lovely coach Naomi Thompson coming to you today for our second annual Talk Like a Pirate virtual festival. And today we've got your treasure map for love. And Naomi's going to share with us some um, of this brilliance. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Welcome to Talk Like a Pirate Day. We're just, we just love dressing up, us two. So here we are. The first one, the first clue in your treasure map to love is about loving your scars. You know, every pirate has scars. Every pirate worth her salt has scars. You have your wounds from your past loves. You have your life battle scars. And, you know, it's so easy for them to just become these painful places that we revisit. And actually, you know, scars are there as a sign that you've survived something. You know, if, if, if scars don't form on the dead, scars form on the living. Scars are there because you've survived and you've come through and you are now in a different place. So actually it's about honoring and loving those scars. What did you learn from them? And, and then tell no tales. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. So loving your scars is about saying, what are your scars and how can they make you stronger? You know, how can there actually be gratitude to the guys who, the guy who dumped you, the guy who said he wanted to marry you and then didn't and your heart was broken. You know, the guy who had an affair. Actually, can you find the gratitude in there for that scar, for, you, for what you've learned that's actually going to take you somewhere different and somewhere to a much stronger place? And there's a wonderful analogy. Well, it's, it's what a Japanese practice of, of mending a broken pot with gold. You know, things become broken, but they can become more beautiful. So really, that's, that's about loving your scars. Natalina, have you got anything else you wanted to say on that one? You know, your scars are, it's art. It's a roadmap of where you've been, of who you are. And the more we can embrace and fall in love with our, our bodies and our hearts and every little treasure that if we can allow that to bring us into more onto that path of more love. You know, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that we, we get it. We get that more love. If we allow, you know, the pain and the scars to turn into bitterness, then we kind of, well, we really are just drying up our potential to receive. And that's one of the reasons why we're here as coaches yeah and you know on this ship you're sailing let those scars be your compass you know let them be the guide for what you want in a relationship and what you don't want in a relationship you know your scars can be something that remind you of actually that that could never have worked out or what were the red flags when i look back you know when i look back and go actually and what did i deeply know in my gut from quite early on but just didn't want to see Whereas now I've got the opportunity to see that, so they can be your compass. So yeah. I, yeah, just one more thing here. I, my brain just keeps pinging about, you know, when, when we've been hurt once before, there are, just don't use that as a reason to not let love in. No, you'll probably be very, a lot more sensitive and in tune with your desire if you so choose to let and it let it be your compass it's not a way of oh that you know oh this scares me this is exactly like that one time and this is this is brand new territory this is brand new territory but if you're using these elements if you're using these parts of your story as as the help that it can be There's just so much more I love. So I will, I, Naomi's going to share more on that and another tip, but just here, just 
when something feels like it's the same thing that you've gone through in the past, I wonder why it's coming up again. What's the message here? Why is my compass steered me here instead of shutting down? Yeah, absolutely. It's all about staying open and we'll touch on that in clue three. So clue two on your treasure map to love is ladies taking care of your parrot. Okay, we all have a parrot. Every pirateess out on the ocean of love and life has a parrot. And this parrot needs treating with, or the, on that side it's got no eye, I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> <laughs> See, even the parrot's got scars, you know? So, you know, it's, this is about, the, your parrot will repeat what you tell it. You tell it it's no good, it will tell you back. You're no good. If it tells you that's exactly what you want to hear. Exactly, exactly. So you tell it you're not worthy of love, you're never going to meet anyone, that's what it will tell you back. You're not worthy of love, you're never going to meet anyone. So really, this is about treating your parrot like it's your best friend. You know, it's lost feathers, it's lost an eye, it's looking really raggedy, but you know what? This is a part of you, your parrot is a part of you that needs care. Your parrot is a part of you that goes on high alert for fear. Oh my good, I can't get involved because I'm just going to get let down again. Yeah. You know, I can't get involved with a guy because he might betray me. I've got to always be looking out and checking his phone. That's the parrot. This parrot needs love. This parrot needs care. And this is about loving it but not listening to it because if we don't care for the parrot, if we don't care for that voice that's in our head, if we don't treat it with some love and some kindness, then your parrot will start steering your ship, ladies. Mm. And you don't want a parrot steering your ship because it's incapable. And, and in some ways, when we're not caring for that parrot part of us, when we're not caring for that little scared part of us inside the part of us that just feels like I'm not worthy of love I'm not good enough I'll always be forgotten I'll always be overlooked when we don't take it's like when we're not taking care of that part of us it's like we're saying to a man here take care of my parrot take care of all the scared part of me take care of the little girl part of me and this is really our this is our place I mean Give the parrot a name, give it, you know, a treat. Give it a treat, crackers, take care of it. I mean, that's really what we want to do. It's like what we've been trained to do on so many levels of goodness. You know, like what we wanted to do as little girls. And if you could see, if you could see that part of you as this charming little parrot who's, you know, your buddy on this adventure you know how will things shift for you give it a name give it a cookie see what happens yeah absolutely and it really is it's it's kind of the serious part of this is that you know the the frightened parts of us start to steer our lives they get to decide whether we go to a party or whether we don't I'm feeling scared of being around people because I don't feel like I'm fit in or I don't feel like I'm good enough or and actually it can inhibit us so much and create these beliefs that we believe, you know, we completely believe in our heads and that create, that, that steer our actions. And that's just what happens. Um, it's like, and it's like when we love this parrot, we're saying, you're just a parrot and you're doing fine, but you just need to go and <laughs> sit downstairs in the ship. You need to just perch somewhere and I'm going to steer this. I'm going to steer the ship through my life, through my love, through everything, mm -hmm. because I'm the adult here. This parrot is just not old enough. So I hope that hasn't confused you all completely, but, but this, is a, this is a biggie, taking care of your parrot. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that analogy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the third clue here is finding your own treasure. is about being you know every pirate is is on the quest for treasure you know the treasure of love the treasure of connection the treasure of you know that deep connection that we all want and crave and desire you know the partnership 
and you know sharing sharing one's life with somebody and however that looks for you so we're looking for that treasure and also that sense of belonging but first of all pirates what we need to do you need to be your own jewel because we can look for treasure in a man we want him to make us feel worthy and loved and special and attractive and interesting and of course you want to feel that with a guy of course you want to feel like you are his number one woman in the world and that you're cherished and protected and adored however it's like if if we haven't found that within ourselves already and found that care for ourselves then it's going to become like an unquenchable thirst with a guy so he'll say something he'll do something and we'll sort of feel we'll feel all loved for a moment we'll feel cared for but then we'll be thirsty again for more for more um for more affirmation of who we are so this is about okay so i've got a lovely lovely phrase from eartha kit and i love this eartha kit says i fall in love with myself and i want someone to share it with me i want someone to share me with me and i adore that this is all about falling in love with yourself and sharing that love with someone who appreciates you rather than looking for love to compensate for a self-love de deficit mm -hmm. You know, it's that, that hole we might have within ourselves that we want filling with a guy's love. And what we're saying is, is fill that yourself, find that treasure in you. And that can come with like finding the gold in everything. Finding the gold in the darkness. You know, that, that you can find your treasure in the darkest of places, in the breakup. The, the time we think we've really messed up with someone who maybe seemed like the most right person in the world for us. Finding the gold in that, in a bad day, in a conversation that seemed to go wrong. What is there to learn? Where's the gold? And if you think of like a diamond, a diamond is made from compressed and heated carbon and probably a lot more kind of, you know, elements to it that I don't know, but and this jewel, this amazing precious jewel is formed out of such darkness and compression and pressure. So that's what we're talking about here. This is diving into your own sensuality, bringing up the treasure, which is your pain and your fears and falling in love with it all. And then as Eartha Kitt says, you know, you're effortlessly radiating that light and sparkle from who you are. It's like come and share in this wonderful life I have. That's brilliant. I love what you said. It's not just, it's not just the parts that we see as treasure, as being treasure. It's the whole thing. It's the pain. It's the journey. It's what we love. It's what we fear. All of this is the treasure. It's not just this part that we're, you know, sacrificing all of ourselves for. It's the whole thing. That's the whole, like, that's, that's the real treasure. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. And also it's like, as women, we can, we can be kind of go-getters. We can be getting on out there in life. We can be going for what we want, but really remember with love, treasure doesn't do the hunting. And it's not about just sitting in a dark little cave, waiting for someone to come and find you. This is about, you know, your amazing man will find you, but all you need to do is be visible. So if you're out and about in your life, if you're doing things, you're going dancing, you're online dating, you are just out there in life, you are receptive. There's an openness about you. You're loving your parrot. So you're someone who loves herself and values herself. Mm -hmm. You know, you're open to love, even when it feels scary. Even when you meet someone, you go, oh my God, this could be my forever guy and I just want to run away. You're open and you're real and you're authentic. And that's all you need to do. You know, that's really all you need to do is just find all of that treasure, have a life that you love, a life that sparkles and you will, your amazing man will find you. You have a way with talking about this. It just, uh, I feel myself lighting up and sparkling. You know, so thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. I mean, it, and, but every, every, all of this is just, I suppose when, when I don't know about you, Natalina, but when I'm talking about this, I feel like um, if I can do this, anyone can. 
because you know i i just could not find my treasure at all i didn't think i had anything and i i felt invisible you know totally invisible but it it comes back to just loving that those those parts love loving that loving the, the crotchety one-eyed parrot part of us and just saying this is who i am part of me is this part of me is this you know, this scared, vulnerable, and actually I'm okay with that. And I love that, you know? So, so yeah, this, this, this stuff is real. This is, this is the real deal. What you've said about, you know, from, we each have this unique story, unique path. It's everything we're going to see along the way. Every step of the way is not going to be exactly the same as someone else is what you said with, you know, if I feel like I could do it, oof, anybody can do it. And, you know, oh, this, this, this thought here, yes, I felt that way. I feel that way so often and new layers of this. Um, taking this back to, it really only takes just something really, really small, just a moment to shift us, you, into being into discovering something that opens you up to the possibilities. And that's really, sometimes that's really enough to go from oblivious to love to completely open and seen by love, mm. seeing love every step of the way. So very, very tiny, little, subtle, gentle shifts can make such a profound difference. That's all I have to add on that one. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree. And, and that treasure is just, I'll end with this really, is the treasure isn't always what you think it is. You know, the treasure doesn't always look, your own treasure doesn't always look how you think it does. Sometimes that treasure is just about being real and authentic about how you're feeling, which could be really crummy that day, which could be feeling sad and dejected. But that treasure is sharing that authentically with someone and being really real. And there is so much connection and intimacy to be had, especially with a guy, when you are real and authentic and raw. You know, um, and this isn't about drama and shouting and blame at all. It's about saying, wow, I just feel terrified right now. And my heart's pounding and I just don't know what to do. You know, that's where the treasure is. And that's how you kind of share your treasure. It's not about being light and sweet and loving all the time. It's about being real. No, so, you may find if that's the path, that, if that's what you gravitate towards, you may find when you start doing what we're asking you to do, what we're asking you to open your eyes and your heart to, you may notice that that actually wasn't serving you in the way that you thought and that there's a new layer. There's more treasure there for you. Beautiful, wonderful. You're gorgeous. I love doing these. <laughs> it's been fabulous. Thank you, Natalina. We'll meet again, no doubt, dressed in some other outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>